Haven't you? Is that what Catherine says? What's the matter? Forget your listening devices? I think it's commendable. I do. It shows your good heart that you've taken her under your wing. And she does seem happiest when someone's feeling sorry for her. Hmm. But I think she had someone shorter and darker in mind. Taste. You can turn her head. Isn't that what that display was all about? You know what? I think that you should have an affair with her. I think it would do her a world of good. Now, Laura may not like it, but if it annoys Stefan, then it's all for a good cause, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But then again, if I started sleeping with every woman he's shortchanged, how busy would I be? And who's at the top of that list? Is that an invitation? If only, huh? But last time I looked, hey, I'm married. Very married. And I think I told you once that Laura has ruined me for ordinary women. What makes you think that I'm an ordinary woman? Just testing your reflexes. You're a fascinating woman. I'll tell you that. How do you take it, this present situation, I mean? You know, Dipwad says jump, and you say off which cliff? You're smarter than he is. You're... You're a Cassidyne through and through. You're more efficient. It must be really hard. Why are you not the general in this international war effort? Why are you a lowly foot soldier? If you want to play with someone's head, I suggest you stick to the one with more air in it. But I see that Catherine's walked out on you. Yes, but it's that woman scorned thing, you know? In fact, I would warn my cousin, if I were you, that the blonde bombshell is ticking. And if she blows up? This time, somebody else might get paralyzed. Not that your dangling would be... Threat? Who said anything about a threat? You suggested you may lob an exploding blonde our way. Our way. Now, which way would that be, Miss Davis? Do you ever notice how you can't have a conversation without using the first person plural? Our way, we want, we like, we don't like, blah, blah, blah. Why do you go to such an extensive effort to try to prove that you're a lackey? It isn't true. You're not that united we stand, divided we fall kind of person that you try to make people think you are. Why do you do it? I have a feeling you're going to tell me why. I'll tell you why. Because you're tied to a crumbling ivory tower. And you think your only hope in life is to make nice nice. Make Stefan think that what he wants is what you want. But it ain't true. Take that uh, blonde who just swiveled her way out of here. You can't stand her. Neither can you. For that matter, neither can Stefan. And aren't we the in crowd? Yeah, how did that happen? When I left Port Chuckles early this summer, Miss Bell and Stefan were making some kind of beautiful music together. I expected to come back to having her swept up in some whirlwind wedding, like the one that spun my sister's life out of control. What happened, I wonder? Luke, save your breath. I have been asked these questions by Catherine. I have been accused of various indecencies, and if I am guilty of something, I really don't know what to call it. All I know is that I gave away a lot more than I got. Now, I realize that you and I are not playing our usual cat and mouse game right now, but I am really very, very tired, and I don't know what you want. I only know that I don't have it. Your cousin never surprises me, but you do. How do I reconcile that? Alexis Davis, he's not home. I'm sorry that I don't know where he is. All right, I pass by the hospital on my way home. I will come over there and I will sign for him. Yes, I have power of attorney. I am his attorney. night for a reunion with my old gun. Three minutes back. Oh, dear. Not those binoculars again. Don't you have papers to sign? 
I majored in signing. I'm very fast. Last time I saw you here with those, I went home and found that your sister had almost poisoned my cousin. What are you plotting this time? I'm gonna be very disappointed if you're at a loss for words. The only thing that's going on right now is hurt feelings. How can you think that I would poison your family? What a waste of toxic substance. Speaking of wasted effort, what would you call this past year with you chasing back and forth between here and Switzerland? Although it really wasn't entirely futile. I'm sure you racked up quite a few frequent flyer miles. But in the end, here you are, back on the dock, watching us through a pair of binoculars, which in my definition would be a wasted effort. But, you know, some people need hobbies. And what's yours? Spit-shining Cousin Stiff's penny loafers? Don't you get sick of that? And what about all the time? You have to be the one scrambling around, doing the damage control for whatever world domination plot he's blown this week, while he goes off and stalks his favorite dim bulb. That must really get on your nerves. Whatever went south between Blondie and the Count, there were enough cow-eyed longing looks in the outback tonight to give me motion sickness. Try Dramamine or Hemlock. Whatever you prefer. Poison again, huh? Are we developing a theme? Or are you uh, floating some ideas on how to get rid of Blondie? I know that you see through those big, teary eyes and that, uh, that quivering lip she always gives when the Count flies into the room. Because you think that she's after his money and you want to get rid of her. Now, the question is, what will you do to get rid of her? Hmm. Most of your family is willing to kill for what they want. How about you? Congratulations. In a stunning piece of detective work, you have managed to discern that I don't like Catherine Bell. Unfortunately, I think I mentioned that to you just a few hours ago at the Outback. I still don't understand why that would come as such a surprise to you. From what I gather, most people don't like her. Your cousin sure does. Funny, I thought that was all part of some evil plot to... I'm not sure. You know the details. Your cousin shot Catherine to frame me. And at the time, you may have been even bothered by it. But anymore, I'll bet you anything, you'd like to shoot her yourself. That is, if you could get a Spencer to blame it on. In that case... Can I interest you in a short walk to the Harborview Towers? What, risk running into Dr. Death? No, thanks. I'd rather stand here and trade insults with you. It's a lot easier on the eyes. I'm sorry, but if you're not going to take the fall for Catherine's murder, I really have nothing further to discuss. You better be careful. I could be wearing a wire. I mean, if something terrible happened to Blondie, you know, an accident, she fell down an elevator shaft or something. I'd have you right where I want you. If you were wearing a wire. Search me. I have to go home. But thanks just the same. Listen, you're welcome to sit here and visualize if you like. Oh, and by the way, if you do step foot on the island, you'll be shot for trespassing. Yeah, that happens a lot out there, doesn't it? Well, if I'm wheelchair bound, will you promise to fall in love with me? I'd rather be shot myself. Go ahead, I'll wait. Alexis Davis. When was that? How long has he been there? Are you sure she's even home? Yeah. Fine, thank you. My, my, talkative, wasn't he? No one asked you to wait or listen. I don't mind. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> That's obvious. It's cold, and elliptical conversations, while diverting, really never solved much, so I'm going to bed. Good night. Thanks for playing. It's not a game, Luke. It's an endless, idiotic war of attrition. 
And since the side with the most resources usually wins, why don't you do yourself, your family, and most of all, my cousin a favor and go home to Switzerland? My home ain't Switzerland, baby. Any more than your home is Spoon Island. Isn't it a little cold for stargazing? Oh, I hadn't noticed. Everything all right? I went to see Catherine, if that's what you're asking. Are you sure that that's advisable? Spencer could hurt her. Not as badly as Helena. No. Well, the doctors tell me Mother's health is actually improving. No doubt she'll live to cast her blight on the world another ten years. Then you can't risk telling Catherine the truth. No. I'm trying to decide whether to tell Nicholas about Catherine. Why would you do that? She mentioned going to him for help. She used Nicholas against you? She's distraught. She's an extortionist. It won't help for you to get emotional, Alexis. Is Nicholas ready to know the truth? Truth about what? Nicholas, what are you doing? Why didn't you have someone drive you up from the dark? Because I can manage on my own. What truth were you referring to? I guess I'll find out when the time is right, or when you have no other choice. But you can relax. Uh, Catherine wouldn't tell me either. Well, it's a complex situation. Yeah, it usually is. I knew she wouldn't hurt him. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing about Luke Spencer. I found him on the Elm Street Pier tonight, on his way to pay us a visit. Nicholas? I'm sure he went up to bed. We could check his room. He's going to know sometime. What difference will it make, whether it's now or in a few years? Do you really want me to answer that? We come from a truly hideous family. Well, that could be worse. We could be Spencer's. Mm. I don't want Luke using Catherine, which is why we have to keep him busy until he leaves for Switzerland. Hi, babe. Did I wake you? Oh, good. Well, it looks like uh, I'm going to be in Port Charles a little longer than we anticipated. Because I found a way to get to Stefan. Hey, how's it going? Something bothering you besides the usual? Tests, work, study. Nose to the grindstone, school, women, global warming. I'm okay, Dad. I'm fine. Okay. How was the game last night? Oh, we lost. Oh, bummer. Uh, look, I think we're gonna have to get a bunch more orange juice. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be here for a little while longer than we expected. Really? <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. When's, when's Lulu and, and Mom and Grandma getting here? Uh, no, no, you, n that isn't what I mean. The time isn't right for that. No, it's, uh, your mother and I have decided that, uh, I should stay here for just a little while longer. Dad? Mm hmm If it's to keep an eye on me, you can forget about no, it. No, 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 it's not to keep an eye on you. You keep an eye on yourself. No, I mean, even if it's to cheer me up, okay? I wouldn't even try to cheer you up. You're as grim as they come. You haven't, you haven't smiled once since I got back from Switzerland. Oh, I'm back there. That was pretty no, good, wasn't it? You know what that looks like? That looks like that used car dealer in Trenton, New Jersey, who sold your mother the pink Cadillac. So save it. No, look, I'm 
gonna hang out here for a little while because there's uh, some things that I need to do. And it has nothing to do with you, but I can't go into the details. Yeah, you know, I'm just... just gonna trust you got your own fish to fry, so to speak. Fish to fry. Actually, it's turkey. Really? A real big, fat turkey. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna take that turkey and, and let him <laughs> stew in his juice, and then I'm gonna stick a spit into that turkey, and I'm gonna barbecue him. And then I'm gonna eat me some barbecue spitted up turkey. Nicholas. Hey. How did your meeting go at school? Well, it was just a formality. My suspension's over. I can go back to school tomorrow. Good. And will Principal Shine also remove that failing grade from your record? Uh, well, I guess that depends. Excuse me. Nicholas, wait. I know that you're still bothered by our chance meeting yesterday at Catherine's. I, I really don't have anything more to say about that unless you have something to add to it. It was a private matter between Catherine and myself. Why can't you respect that? Why can't you respect me? You said that I'm not a child anymore, that I'm a full-fledged member of this family. Now, if that's so, why do I have to share every detail of my life with you when you pick and choose what it is I can know? I mean, I've actually gotten used to you and Alexis rationing information for me. But I thought Catherine was different. Guess I was wrong. Uh, this is Mr. Castine's assistant, and I'm calling to confirm his dinner reservation for tonight. A uh, seven? I see. Are you sure there is anything just a little bit later, a little bit earlier? No, please. My mistake. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm calling to confirm Mr. Castine's reservation tonight for seven o'clock. Ah. Uh, no. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Poor Charles Grill. Hello, I'm calling to confirm Mr. Castine's reservation tonight. Seven o'clock, yes, yes. Oh, he will definitely be there. Thank you. Gotcha. Spencer. Luke. Hi. Well, don't tell me the mountain has come to Mohammed. No, no, no. Nothing that earth-shattering, actually. But I am stepping out to Wyndham's, and I thought maybe if you were home, I'd, uh, I'd drop by. What's on your agenda? Dinner. So don't make any plans. How is it that you... I've set up a dinner meeting tonight with our Jakarta contact, Elliot Butterworth. He'll be briefing us on the construction of the new plant. Alexis? Yes, Stefan, I heard you. I want to move very quickly from now on to wrap this up. Oh, that's great. The Quartermains won't know what hit them. Or who hit them. Are you going to continue with the camouflage? No reason to change tactics now. I thought I gave you a good reason. Don't let me interrupt. I'm just letting you know I'm going out for a few hours. Nicholas, before you go, I would like to discuss the accusation you made earlier. It wasn't an accusation. It was a statement of fact. Your family does not have a policy of lying to you. From time to time, I've... or well, we've withheld certain matters until we felt you were old enough to handle them. That's a far cry from deliberate deception. Well, then we disagree fundamentally on what I'm able to handle. Come in. Come in, come in, come in. I can only stay a minute. Um, let's see. I would offer you a virgin screwdriver, but I just drank all the orange juice. 
Well, I was thinking really that I would get something um, from the Port Charles Grill wine list while we're ordering dinner. Dinner? You and me? Yeah, I, I was hoping that you would join me and uh, we could continue our dialogue. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't we do that here? Over, say, a uh, frozen pizza? Not tonight, unless you've retrieved the gun. Yeah, now well, look, about that. See, that project is on hold until you answer a few questions. What questions? Well, like the one I asked yesterday. If I retrieve the evidence, will you reopen the case? You still haven't said the three magic words. Stefan shot me. Until you do that, it seems to me you're doing a, you know, some pretty serious foot dragon. I just need to take it one step at a time. Okay. I'll pass on dinner. Luke, you asked me to keep an open mind, and that's all I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm just not going as fast as you'd like me to, that's all. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping that we could just have dinner. A simple, just a little dinner. Mm -hmm. No, I'll pass on dinner. Unless you can assure me that there's something in it for me. Other than lamb chops and strawberry parfait. Calling Ned Ashton. Yes, as a matter of fact, I was. I've told you my feelings on the subject. And I heard you. But I do believe I'm capable of making my own decisions. I'll be in the study. We should leave by 6.30 for our dinner engagement. I told Mrs. Lansbury you were expecting me. Leo, what do you do? You know that Stefan is helping. I wanted to see you, and I didn't want you to tell me not to come. Well, that's exactly what I would have told you if he sees us together this soon. I'll tell him I came to say goodbye. I'm going to Greece on special assignment. Not for Helena, I hope. You know better than that. I'm in demand as a freelance troubleshooter. I wanted to tell you that I won't be available if something else comes up. Hopefully nothing will now that Natasha is in Stefan's life and Catherine is out. Good luck on your assignment, Leo. I'll miss you. That thought will get me through many a lonely night. You've been invaluable to me, Leo. Without you, I would never have been able to pull off a very difficult project. And what project is that? Of course, I would never expect for you to participate in any kind of plan where you, you didn't expect to get half the profits. I thought we were still in negotiation about all that. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, you know, I, I really need to get to Wyndham's before they close. So can I expect to see you at my place a little before 7, dressed appropriately for the occasion? No, but I'll meet you at the restaurant. I'll wear a carnation so you'll know me. And what will you wear so I know you? I don't know yet. Trust me, it'll be good. Modricks over the years, and I do feel very grateful to him. This sounded specific and recent. It really isn't important at all. Why are you grilling me about this? Well, I'm curious. I seem to remember that Leo has proven useful to us in the past in executing some of the more unsavory tasks that come up from time to time. For example, I recall he's an excellent forger. Whose signature did he duplicate this time? Not mine, I hope. As a matter of fact, I asked him to track down the private collector who owns that Rembrandt sketch that you were interested in acquiring. I was going to give you the files tomorrow. Would you like to see them now? That won't be necessary. I trust you to handle it. Well, then, I should get ready for dinner. I will be down in just a while.
everybody home? Yeah. Me, Mr. Fix-It. Hey, when did that break? Oh, probably the last time Lucky leaned back at a 90-degree angle in a self-satisfied adolescent peak. I thought I'd fix it before somebody like me breaks their neck. <laughs> Where is my favorite nephew? Oh, he's upstairs, ran straight up to the computer, because I told him he could play video games until dinner. Well, ain't you a good mom? <laughs> Funny you should say that. How so? Because I got ambushed by Carly Roberts a little while ago. And she uh, taunted me about the baby had to give up, my little girl. She even pretended to forget she died. Is there anything that creature won't use against me? She's a sick cookie, Barbara. I'm sorry she's taking her frustrations out on you. Yeah, well, hopefully she'll have her baby soon and she won't be hanging around GH as much. Hey, listen, I'm making some cookies for dessert. You and Lucky gonna be around for dinner? Uh, no, sorry. He's helping Ruby and, uh, I'm gonna break bread with Catherine Bell at the PC Grill. Oh. Still trying to get her to work with you on busting Stefan for shooting her? Yeah, but something's up. She invited me. And she's still playing peekaboo about committing herself. Oh. I should think she'd jump at the chance to nail that man. Blondie's a tease. But I have a plan that I think... To... I think tonight might work. I'm gonna get her to admit that Steph and shot her, and then I'm gonna get it on tape for anybody who's interested to hear. Look, I know it... Good evening, Spencer for two. Hi, Lowe. Just be a moment, sir. Uh, that's all right. My friend likes to make an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get her to admit that Steph and shot her, and then I'm gonna get it on tape for anybody who's interested to hear. Are my lips okay? Remarkable. Thank you. You look good. All this for me? Who else? The table of vampire bats in the corner, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know they'd be here. Maybe we should leave. What, and give up this opportunity after you went to all the trouble to find out that they would be here and dress up like this so he can see what he's missing? Well, that certainly would have been smart, wouldn't it? I wish I would have thought of it. Are you upset? No, not at all. As long as you can discuss nailing him, at the same time you make him salivate into his lamb chops. Mr. Spencer? Yes? Your table is ready. Great, I'm famished. I like a woman with a healthy appetite. Is there something wrong? That man who just walked in is the town nuisance. He specializes in harassing normal citizens. Oh, how unfortunate. Isn't it? So at the risk of a scene, why don't we move this to Windermere? I say let's ignore him. Easier said than done. I'd prefer to stay. If you're uncomfortable and you want to leave, that's your choice. No, I wouldn't want to leave you two to celebrate all alone. Well then, another toast. To Elliot, to your success against ELQ Jakarta. Thank you. Something from the bar? Yes. Do you have that new bottled water from Germany? We just got it today. Great. I'll take that with a dry gin martini up on the side, of course. Mm, three olives as well. And I'll have uh, bourbon on the rocks right away. Should I be flattered that you remembered? Very good. Good improvisation. Keep it up. Make it salivate all over the plate. I wasn't even aware that he was watching. He's watching you closer than he did the night he shot you. Stefan, I thought we agreed to ignore them. So, tell me, Elliot, did you find Ned Ashton a formidable opponent? Uh, formidable? 
not especially. Of course, he had the element of surprise working against him. Mm. Vicious, absolutely. If he hadn't been, then defeating him might not have been such good sport. Does he suspect Cassidyne Industries is behind the problems in Jakarta? Never. Of course, now that it's all over, I wouldn't mind telling him myself. For what purpose? Uh, uh, gloating. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Ah. Well, for now, I would prefer we continue to keep our identity secret. Besides, Ashton's family will be much harsher on him than you could ever be. Ah, the ever acrimonious Quartermains. Yes, they'll be all over him for this, won't they? Well, you know them, Alexis. What do you think? They'll tear him limb from limb. You know, this town of Port Charles positively intrigues me. I mean, here you have a family like the Quartermains rubbing elbows with the likes of that uh, local nuisance fellow. Fascinating, isn't it? Yes, but not as fascinating as the stunning woman who's accompanying him. Astounding, isn't it, how good-looking women always have the worst taste in men? You seem to have a worrisome obsession with guns, Luke. Is this some sort of macho thing with you? Look, there's only so much of this peekaboo crap I can stomach, particularly just before I eat. Now, you, you can let your hands wander all over me. You can hang your cleavage all over the table. You can do whatever you want to make Cassidyne scowl. But just remember why I'm here. I'm here to show you mine if you show me yours. That means you tell me straight out the truth. Just say it. Cassidyne shot me. Elizabeth, subject for me. I prefer we not discuss it. I'm only trying to help you, Katie. You were on Spoon Island. It was dark. It was foggy. You lost your way. And all of a sudden, there was Stefan with a gun on you. And just before you felt that bullet rip into your soft, sweet flesh, you saw him take aim. You wanted to scream. Stop it. But Stop it. I'm right, aren't I, Catherine? Just say it. You know, this is all wrong. I shouldn't have even come here. What? I came here to fight back, but just seeing him sitting over there ignoring me is making everything worse. Help me out of here. I, I really don't want to make a fool of myself. Look, I'll get you out of here. Just just keep yourself together for another couple of minutes. I don't know if I can. Sure you can. I'm going to come over there and pull you out of the chair and head you toward the veranda. Just go out there, take a few deep breaths, and I'll come out and meet you. I just don't want to look like a fool. All right. Just show them plenty of back and walk proud. Are you ready? OK, good. You know, the last time I was in France, I picked up three cases of 1978 Chateau Domaine de Francois. Uh, have you ever heard of it? Uh, we own it, don't we? That's me. Excuse me. Alexis Davis. Luke Spencer. Is this a bad time? How did you get my number? Oh, can't tell you that. That's trade secret. You're probably one of those cellular bandits. What do you want? Well, babe, my uh, date deserted me, and I'm lonely. As you should be. Sorry. Who was that, Leo? Yes, nothing that can't wait till morning, which will arrive long before I get my paperwork done. So if you gentlemen will excuse me, I'm going to say good night. Actually, I have to get going, too. I have an early plane to catch and uh, about 200 emails to answer. Um, may I fetch your coat? Thank you. Good man, Elliot. We should think about giving him more responsibility. Why don't we talk about it on the way home? Perhaps in the morning. You're staying? I have a few things on my mind. Perhaps I'll sort them out here. Personal or business? Several weeks ago, we discussed leaving Port Charles and returning to Greece for good. The idea is making more and more sense to me every day. We have no ties here. I'll see you in the morning. Brenda. Hi. It's good to see you out. 
Thanks. Uh, <laughs> this is my sister. I think she'd like to meet you, Julia Barrett, Luke Spencer. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I knew your cousin, Bill. Oh. Well, I guess he got the sweet end of that deal. Bye. Excuse me. Hmm? I need to speak with Catherine Bell. Could you find out if she's still here? Oh, right away, Mr. Cassidyne. Nice exit, Miss Bell. No one noticed a thing. Thank you for your help. Well, you relax in this nice chilly air, and I'll have smoke a little cigar, and then we'll go back in. I've already called my driver. He's going to pick me up in a minute. Whatever makes you comfortable. You know, Luke, I don't think that you and I working together to set up Stefan is really going to work out. Hey, don't be like that. This was just a warm-up. When the main event comes, you'll be ready. Ciao. Chilly night, isn't it? What was that? A final gesture. Nothing more. It's a definite improvement from your last final gesture. Are you planning another for tomorrow? Tomorrow, the Cassidines begin preparations for our return to Greece. Vacation? We're leaving Port Charles for good. And whose idea was that? Originally Alexis's. I see. Oh, please, give her my congratulations. She now has everything she ever wanted. <laughs> you don't know, do you? Enlighten me. Your cousin is in love with you, and she will do anything she can. information about a certain gun and how it happened to disappear from police custody. You found me. Hey, 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 come on. I'm so glad you found me. Have a seat. Let's talk. What's up? Shouldn't you be somewhere spying on Stefan or saving the world or whatever it is you do in your spare time? I'm finished, Luke. He's won. So I guess you have no further use for me. You look frazzled, shaky, maybe a little pale. Either they canceled your gold card or you had another run-in with your assailant slash dream boat. It's not gonna work, Luke. Whatever plan you were devising to use me against Stefan is pointless. He's going back to Greece. Watch out. Why? You're wearing I'm going to save the damsel in distress whether she likes it or not expression. Nope. You are looking at the new and improved Mac. No more rescuing anyone unless they ask me to. So if some demented stranger shows up at your uh, doorstep someday looking for, well, God knows what. You'll be there, and I'll be grateful. Who told you Stefan's skipping town? He did. Did he say why? I know why. Alexis has turned Stefan against me. Now she wants to keep him out of my clutches, so she's dragging him back to Greece. Don't you owe me a thank you? I did something you never could. Drive Stefan out of Port Charles. I'll thank you when you drive him upstate to a small cramped cell, not when you send him off to the Mediterranean to lay on a nice white pebble beach. Why? He's leaving. What more do you want? Justice. For having blackmailed my wife. For almost killing my son for drugging my mother-in-law and keeping her hostage for 10 years. You see, Catherine, he, he's hurt more people than you. You, but you, you, you're the only one who can press charges. 
Now, maybe you ought to think about that before you just bid him bon voyage and see him go off to a good life of ouzo, grape leaves, and homemade baklava. You were gone so long, I thought you'd accompanied Ashton to the mainland. Would that have bothered you? I've made my position on your continued association clear. And I have made my feelings equally clear. He is my friend, and I enjoy his company, and I am perfectly capable of differentiating between my professional and personal attachments. But can he? The Jakarta buyout was a success, but it overextended the holding company. We're going to have to invest additional funds, which will substantially increase the risk of discovery. Isn't that the way you planned it? Instead of asking me to break things off with Ned, you maneuvered it, so he's forced to break things I off with I have asked repeatedly. So this is deliberate. Alexis, I saw an opportunity. I made an investment. This had nothing to do with you or your feelings until you made them an issue. Your personal life is your own. I have no interest in who you date, as long as it doesn't interfere with the family. And when did Ned ever do that? I haven't neglected my duties. I haven't made any mistakes. I haven't let my emotions no, that get is the enough. better of That's me. Enough. It's not enough. It's never enough. I know that you're in pain over what happened with Catherine, and you have no idea how sorry I am that things turned out the way they did, but acting like an autocrat is only going to make things worse for everyone, including Nicholas. Nicholas is my concern. He's mine, too. He is my family, too, and I love him. I love you, too. So why don't you let me help instead of ordering me around? You didn't used to be so sentimental. You didn't used to be so cold. Well, circumstances change. The family interests are paramount. And I expect you to give them your full attention, regardless of your dalliance with Ned Ashton. I'm not having a dalliance with Ned Ashton. And as soon as he finds out that the Cassidines are behind the buyout of ELQ Jakarta, I doubt that I'll have a friendship either. Good. And I'll make sure he finds out post-haste. No! No. But don't. Cross me again, Alexis. Contracts for the Jakarta deal. Would you like to check my work? Alexis, I was unnecessarily harsh earlier. You have been my only constant through all of this. Patient, steadfast. And I had no cause to treat you as a servant. I'm sorry. Thank you. It may be too late, but I'll do what I can to see that Ashton doesn't realize what happened. Fortunately, once we leave for Greece, you won't have to think about him or anyone else in this city again. What are the odds that you could find the gun? Slim. He may have destroyed it the minute he got his hands on it, but egos being as they are, he probably held on to it, if nothing more than to just remember us by. If he did, can you find it? If it's on Spoon Island, why? Are you finally ready to admit he shot you? I'll say this much. You find that gun, and I'll press charges.
the new and improved Mac, remember? You can't help her until she asks for it. Dr. Scott Palmer, top staff and staff. Dr. Scott Palmer, top staff and staff. Hi, Nicholas. My name is Nicolini the Deadly. I'm Ann Amy. Pleasure to meet you. Beware, hospital person, or I will remove your heart with my bare hands. Oh, this is about organ donations. Well, that would be the fifth floor. <laughs> How'd you know it was me? I could read your DNA a mile away. <laughs> right. Well, as much as I would like to hang around here and scare some more hospital nurses, I need to get back to the pediatrics lounge and finish decorating for the Halloween party. You know, those kids are so excited. Believe it or not, there's one little girl who's planning on dressing up as Sarah. Oh, well, that doesn't surprise me. They all really like her a lot. Yeah, that does seem to be the general consensus around here. <laughs> you want me to show you what I bought her? Sure. You promise you won't tell? I promise. All right. Nicholas, honey, that's beautiful. Do you really think she'll like it? <gasps> She's gonna love it. And if she doesn't, I know plenty of girls who will. <laughs> well, there are no other girls. Boo. <laughs> hey, I thought you were gonna stay in tonight. Well, Tony took Lucas trick-or-treating. I don't feel like cooking, so you wanna grab a bite? Oh, can't, Barbara. Why? What are you doing? I'm checking out who's on security detail on Goon Island tonight. Any particular reason? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna break in. Oh, Luke, for heaven's sake. Why? Community service? There's a gun that's missing from the Port Charles Police Department. I'm gonna make sure it isn't on Stefan's shelf. You already got Catherine to admit Stefan shot her. What more do you want? Barbara, I didn't. I only got her to agree to reopen the case if I find the gun. Well, you know, Stefan is too smart to leave a gun just lying around, even if he did take it, which I'll grant is a strong possibility. He's already had it destroyed. Mm -hmm. That would be smart. But sometimes Stefan's ego gets in the way. My money's on him holding on to that gun for the next time he needs a firearm registered to me. You stop it. You can't go back there. Not again. Why are you worried? I've been moving in and out of the Cassadine mansion for better part of a year. Yeah, but it's different now. Stefan has become even more bizarre than ever. Practice makes perfect. I'm serious. Define bizarre. Ever since he's fired Catherine, he's become almost completely withdrawn. I mean, the whole hospital has noticed. You speak to him, he barely acknowledges you. And this is a bad thing? You know, you do tend to underestimate him. I mean, sometimes you hold him in such contempt, you tend to miss how truly lethal the man can be, and right now he is, and I don't want you taking chances with your life. Why would I do that every morning when I wake up? I should have known I was wasting my breath. OK, fine. If you won't think about your own safety, will you at least think about someone else's? Give us a name. Nicholas. Who? Why the hell should I suddenly care about Nicholas? So, when are you going to give this to Sarah? <sighs> Today. I've never given anyone a, a piece of jewelry before. I hope she doesn't think that I'm being She's like... going to be absolutely thrilled. Girls love to get jewelry, especially something as pretty as that. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I better get started on those, uh... Halloween those, decorations. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. You seem to be in a festive mood today. Yeah, well, there's a, a Halloween party in the pediatrics lounge today. Which reminds me, I have a reading date with a five-year-old who just had his tonsils out. Good luck, Annie. It's uh, good to see you enjoying hospital work so much. Yeah, well, it's because of the children, mostly. Well, perhaps you could volunteer at the orphanage Oropades when we return home. No, I, I don't, I don't want to make a time commitment on a visit. Not a visit. We're moving back to Greece as soon as I complete my affairs. Oh, really? So when did you make this decision? Alexis and I have been discussing it for some time. Well, I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable to me. I know you don't like Nicholas, but he's just a boy, Luke, and he shouldn't be made to suffer for old wars that he didn't perpetuate. This is where I came in, Barbara. 
That spawn is not the innocent you want him to be. And I'll tell you something else. If you were on fire, the entire Cassidyne clan would gather around and put weenies on sticks. No, not Nicholas. <sighs> Where have I heard this before? My guess would be from Laura, his mother. The factor in the equation that makes Nicholas different from the rest of them. You know, you and my wife are stuck on the same page of a fairy tale. Nicholas is not the little prince caught up in the evil sorcerer's spell. And I'll tell you something else. If the fates smile on me and I can't take Stefan down, Nicholas will do just fine on his own. And if he doesn't? Then he isn't. Oh. It's of no concern to me. Look, when does it all end? This conversation? Now. Okay, well, you just listen to me one minute. I'm gonna make this real simple. Please don't go to Windermere. Please don't break in. Please don't look for that gun. I've got customers. I'll have Claude set you out a nice table. You should dress like this more often, Alexis. You look like a sleek black cat. Leo, I told you you shouldn't come here anymore. A reasonable request. After all, your cousin lives here. He could wonder why we're together. And I, of course, would have to tell him. You would? Herr Cassadine, I would say. Alexis and I are lovers. I try to discourage her, but she cannot get enough. I'm late. I have to go. Oh. I have something for you. What is it? Receipts, bank withdrawals, money wire transfers, all the evidence of everything I have done to convince Stefan that Catherine is his half-sister. No names are listed, just financial records. Did you make copies? Oh, I'm bad with machines. I'm good with people. Keep them, throw them away, destroy them, whatever makes you happy. Thank you, Leo. That was very considerate of you. I am at your service, as always. Taking a privately held... I realize this is sudden, Nicholas, but you couldn't have believed we would stay in Port Charles indefinitely. It doesn't matter what I believe. You have no right to change my life without consulting me first. Nicholas, the island in Greece is our home. Traditionally, we have settled in a location, done our work, and then returned. You've seen it your entire life. This shouldn't be a surprise it, to you. But there's no reason for it, other than your relationship with Catherine is over. Our work in Port Charles is finished. Your reason for leaving is personal, and you know it. No. But your insistence on staying? I realize you've become close with Miss Weber. Yeah. She's the only person I've ever known who likes me for me. Not because I'm a prince or your nephew, but for me. And she makes me feel happy in a way that I've never felt. And eventually, Laura's gonna come home with my sister, and I am not gonna pass up the chance to be close to her or Sarah. I'm sorry, did, did you say that your reason for leaving wasn't personal? If you're here to harass me again, I'd ask you to reconsider. I had a doctor's appointment. Are you ill? I used to be paralyzed, remember? I was shot on Spoon Island and injured my spine. Funny, isn't it, just when you decide to pack up and leave poor Charles, I get the word from Tony that my recovery is complete. Congratulations. Have you made your departure official? Tony never mentioned it. Oh, the staff hasn't been informed yet. I intend to do that in the next day or so. 
And Nicholas? Have you told him? Just now. And? He resisted, as expected. But Nicholas is extremely bright. He'll soon realize there's nothing left for us in this town. Stefan. I'm glad that you've decided to leave poor Charles. Running into each other is no more enjoyable for me than it is for you. But I was wondering if you could finally tell me the truth. For old time's sake. You've heard the truth and refused to accept it. There's nothing more I can do. What you told me is an insult to the real and powerful feelings that we had for each other. The only feeling I have had concerning you is the fear that you would ruin my life by accusing me of your shooting. So I distracted you until I could dispense of the gun as evidence. Our relationship went on for months. If it was just about the gun, why didn't you do it sooner? The case had received a lot of attention. I waited for it to subside. <laughs> You've got answers for everything, don't you? Except to the question, why Catherine Bell can't accept the truth. Do you realize that this may be the last time we ever see each other? I pray for it. And don't say I didn't warn you. What are you doing? Making sure I slept all right last night. I wanted to find out if you had any luck locating that gun yet. I'm getting closer all the time, little lady. Good. Because when you do, I'm ready to press charges. You are? What happened? Stefan is still planning on leaving the country, and if we're going to stop him, it'll have to be soon. Don't worry about it. I'm all over it. I'll talk to you soon. I just came in. Say good night. Good night. Hello? Why the tape recorder? So I'll have a record of my visit to Windermere. Hey, Barbara, smile. Be happy. Don't worry. Thank you. Everything's going to be fine. Alexis Davis. I know something came up, something important, and you're right in the middle of it. And I could be a gentleman and say, let's make it another night, but I'm not going to. Did something happen? I need you here. All right. How soon can you leave? Now. Thank you. I'll be right there. 